Welcome back everyone to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the safe access application within Synology's Router Manager or SRM. And what this allows you to do is a lot of cool things, especially if you have kids or if you have guests that you want to manage their network connection, their time, you can set schedules, set a quota. You can also filter websites and different searches from within your router. Now this is a very cool application for me, for anyone that has kids, you want to limit how long they spend on the internet, what they're looking at, and you can also view reports of what pops up during the day. So very cool. So if you guys are new to the channel, I did a complete setup of Synology's mesh network, full unboxing and review of the RT2600, which is their gigabit Wi-Fi router. I also did a complete overview of their mesh routers. So I had two in my setup. There was the MR2200AC, and I put links in the top right where you can go ahead and check it out right now. But if you guys are new or just learning about Synology, they make quality devices and they make everything super simple for the average user to configure. So what I'm gonna do is go through a complete setup of safe access, just walk you guys step by step, show you what it can do. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button in the top right, hit the thumbs up on this video, share this video if you think it might help someone else. So here we are inside the interface of the router and you can see it looks like a regular computer guys. It looks like a computer interface with applications and it's very easy to get to. I've done a full video showing you guys how to get to this, how to set it up and what the different applications are. So definitely check out my network setup playlist and I'll put a link in the top right right now. So the safe access application is right here. Let's go ahead and launch it. So you can see right here, I do have a profile connected already. Call that one boy and I'm going to set up another one just to show you guys how to get through it. Now one thing you'll need is the MAC address and the IP address of the device you're adding. So to find the IP address on your device, if you're on an Android device guys, what you have to do is go to your settings, you're going to go to your Wi-Fi, you're going to click on the network that you're connected to and it should give you an IP address. So once you find that IP address, we're going to go into our network center. Once we get into network center, we're going to go to local network. We're going to go to DHCP clients. And this right here is a list of all the devices that are connected to your network uh, via Wi-Fi or via local area network. The IP address that you just pulled up on your device should be in here somewhere and it should be a MAC address associated with that IP address. And that's how you'll essentially tell what IP address and what a MAC address you are reserving. So once you have the IP address and the MAC address of the device that you're going to assign to a particular user, we're going to go ahead and add an account. So hit plus, we're going to hit start. And from here, you see you have a couple options. You can set up a user profile so you can set rules for specific devices with this. On the local area or LAN profile, you can set rules for devices connected to your LAN. So devices that are wired in rule will not be applied to devices already assigned to a profile. And last but not least, you do have options to set up a guest Wi-Fi profile. So you can set rules for the guest users. So if you want guest users to only be able to connect for an hour or to only view certain websites, you can go ahead and set that up essentially. For this, I'm going to use a user profile. We'll be setting up another one for my daughter. So let's go ahead and go through that. You do have the option to upload a photo and give it a profile name. So I'm just going to name this one girl. The other one was named boy, obviously. We're going to click next. And from here, it's asking you to select what device is assigned to that particular person's profile. So this is where the MAC address and the IP address is going to come in handy. So I found the MAC address of the tablet. I'm just going to select it. Going to hit create. All right, here's the summary page. And we're going to click OK for now. So here are the two profiles, boy and girl. And let's go ahead and click on girl. We're going to set up some of the preferences. So on the girl, you can see that we have three basic options. We do have the option to set up a schedule. So let's go ahead and start there first. We're going to turn on the schedule first. And it basically gives you a time slot right now. So they're able to use the Internet from 7 to 9 p.m. every day. Uh, Sunday through Saturday. So we're going to go ahead and change that up a little bit. So first of all, I want to change that to eight o'clock on the weekdays. So I'm going to click on blocked right now. I'm going to go to Monday. Just going to go down all the way through Friday. All right. And for the weekends, I'm going to give them until 10 p.m. So I'm going to click allow there. 
I'm gonna white it out. And these are all in 15 minute increments, guys. So if I wanted to do 15 after or 30 after, I can select two boxes or one box. So I have my basic schedule here during the weekdays. Internet will automatically go out at 8 p.m. Uh, during the weekends at 10 p.m., the internet will go out as well. So I'm just going to hit OK. And we're going to go up. We're going to set up a time quota. Now, the time quota is just the amount of time they're able to uh, stay online within a certain period of time. So let's go ahead and turn that on. All right. So the same number of hours every day. So we can set it to three hours and 30 minutes or you can just click on the drop down. I'm going to set mine to uh, five hours. So five hours, zero minutes. Or you can go custom and you can do different days. Once they hit that five hour quota, Internet will cut off automatically. I'm going to click OK here. And we're going to go back in and set the web filter. First thing, we're going to turn that on. And this has a couple presets, guys, where it does have something for child access, employee, guests, as well as custom, where you can go in and uh, kind of make up what rules you want to apply. So I'm going to hit child. I'm going to click OK. And I will show you what that entails in a little bit. So those are the main three um, areas that you'll be setting up for your, your access. But we do have a couple more that we can edit in the top of this page. So before at the bottom right there, you can see there's a pause also. If I click this, whatever devices they have that's assigned to their profile will go ahead and cut the network connection. So if they're playing games or you playing PlayStation and you tell them to do their chores, they're not doing it, you can go ahead and cut their internet instantly. Love that feature. So another thing you can do, you notice that boy has two devices, girl only has one. So if you want to add additional devices, you just click on the three dots. You're going to click on edit. And right here, you can go ahead and assign devices. So you can go ahead and essentially add another device that is managed by that person. I know for me, there's a smart TV in the room, so I will be adding that a little bit later. So let me just cancel out of this for now. So that's all set up. That's the basic setups. Up top, you do have more options. So click on web filter. You can kind of see what the different categories mean. So for child, it's going to block anything adult related, any advertising, dangerous materials, drugs, gambling and violence if you're doing this for an employee you do have all that that i just mentioned plus games hacking shopping social networks and violence so if you guys really strict on uh, the people that work for you you can go ahead and cut out facebook altogether which is kind of mean you do have some guest uh, categories as well and within custom guys you can go ahead and just um, edit it and just add whatever you want so if you hit edit here you can go ahead and you can select whatever categories you want so if you don't want them to be on tender you can go ahead and block all the dating websites and you do have the option to hit the drop down change the color code you can change it to whatever name you like I do have a block list so whatever domain you want to add there you can go ahead and do that you want to allow so if you block dating for instance and you want to go ahead and allow one dating site so you want to enable match.com only you can go ahead and add that there so it doesn't filter everything out altogether so I'm going to cancel out of this exit go to access requests so what this is, is let's say my son's doing his homework, uh, internet shuts off because he passed that five hour threshold. So what he'll do then, he'll send a request asking you for more time and he can go into the settings and allow it. So to enable that setting, all you have to do is click there, allow users to request access and it gives you a little um, breakdown of how that's done. So you can reject it, you can accept it. Um, whatever the case is, but you do have some control over that and that user can request that access if they're asking to do something legitimate that you do want to allow. So last but not least, you do have the block page style. So so if you want to go in and you want to put your own photos, your own background, you want to put a title in, for instance, um, you've been blocked and you want to put a description Or something simple like that and then you can put a background picture you can put a logo you can change the color and like i said it's just a, a lot of different things you can do just to kind of customize what the users are seeing so they know exactly what they're looking for if you move down to security you do have additional options so you do have network protection basically blocks intrusions dangerous websites malware social engineering that kind of stuff phishing emails phishing um, known phishing applications um, just to kind of um, protect everything overall on their activity 
you do have logs you also do have a report that you can uh, customize you can generate your reports all right and you can email it you can give it a name whatever the case is so they do have a lot of cool options last but not least notifications so you do have the option to receive notifications either via email sms mobile and um it, basically if someone's website has been blocked or website blocked for security reasons or exhausted their time quota or a time quota reach 80% or if you receive a request for more time you can be notified on your device that way you'll know hey this person needs another hour to finish their homework or one more hour to finish this final stage of this game and you, you can go ahead and if you do have the remote access enabled on your device you can log in remotely wherever you are and you can enable it so they can continue doing what they're doing go to overview and we'll just give it a second to load and below you can see all the devices that's connected you can see how long they've been on all day uh, this one's been on for 13 hours and that's my computer so uh, can't say much but you can see other devices time that they spend online and for the two profiles that we have boy girl obviously you can see if anything um, was detected within the past 24 hours it will show up here as well and you do have an additional option up top to add additional persons or profiles to the safe access application so that was a quick run through guys hopefully i didn't babble on too long but synology just made it so easy for you to manage your network this is the interface of the rt 2600 ac router i have reviewed i put a link in the description of that video i also put a link where you can pick it up on amazon if you guys have any questions about this or anything on my channel please don't hesitate to drop a comment in the comment section hit that thumbs up share this video if you think it might help someone else thank you again for watching and i'll catch you on the next one I'm <laughs> sorry.